everybody, Miss G here. Welcome to another week at Camp Whittier. This week is bug week. So this week we're going to learn all about bugs. We're going to learn about um, what are bugs, why they are important, and then in the end we are actually going to have the chance to create our own bug. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I want to think a little bit about what are bugs? Hmm. Well, bugs are insects, right? They are insects. And they're important because they eat other insects. Um, what else? I wonder. Hmm. All right. So while we're thinking about why bugs are important, I'm going to show you a quick video about bugs, and then we're going to answer some questions, okay? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen and show you a quick video about books. Ladybugs, houseflies, honeybees. We're big fans of insects, and you should be too. For one thing, they're everywhere. There are by far more insects in the world than any other kind of animal. And there are lots of different species of insects too, of all different colors, shapes, even sizes. Let me introduce you to one of my friends. This is Holmes, a northern walking stick insect. You can probably guess why she's called a walking stick. Northern walking stick insects are from the forests of northeastern North America, where it's easy for them to blend in with the sticks, twigs, and leaves of the woods. If you ever saw Holmes out in the wild, she'd be pretty hard to find. Now, Holmes here is bigger than most insects you probably know about, but she isn't the biggest, not even close. Probably the longest insect in the world is a distant relative of Holmes called Chan's Mega Stick. This is a huge type of walking stick insect that lives in the forests of Borneo. It can grow as long as 36 centimeters. That's as big as a rat. But other insects can get even bigger. The heaviest, most massive insect that's ever been found is the giant weta from New Zealand. It looks like an enormous cricket, and it can weigh more than 70 grams. That's about as big as a small bird. Now, even though they look totally different, the mega stick and the giant weta are the same kind of animal. And so are tiny ants, flying dragonflies, and buzzing bees. They're all insects. Oh, good question, Squeaks. How can you tell an insect when you see one? Well, all insects have three big things in common, and they're pretty easy to spot. First, insects don't have any bones. Lots of animals like your dog, your cat, a bird, or you have a skeleton made of bones. This lets us stand up straight and move around, but insects have their skeletons on the outside. Instead of bones, they have a hard shell around their body called an exoskeleton. Another thing insects have in common is that their bodies all have three main parts. Up in front, there's the head. It's where the eyes and the mouth are, and usually there's a pair of long, spindly feelers on top of it that the insect uses to sense its surroundings. These are called antennae. Below the head is the middle section called the thorax. This is where you find the legs and sometimes wings, but not all insects have wings. And bringing up the rear is the abdomen. This is the part where the insect digests food. And if it has a stinger, you'll find it here at the very end. Finally, the third way to make sure the animal you're looking at is an insect is probably the easiest of them all. Just count its legs. That's because all insects have six legs and only six. Whether it's an ant or a beetle or a giant weta or a walking stick insect. So here we have Holmes. Let's count her legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. But what about this centipede? Is it an insect? How about this spider? No, again, spiders have eight legs and insects only have six. So now you know the three easy steps for spotting an insect. One, it has an exoskeleton. Two, its body is divided into a head, thorax, and abdomen. And three, it has six legs. So the next time you see a fly or a bee or an ant, stop and take a closer look and see if you can find what makes an insect an insect. Squeaks, what's your favorite kind of insect? Let us know your favorite too, and we'll see you back here next time on SciShow Kids. All right, 
So what did we learn in that video? So let's think for a minute. What did we learn? Hmm. I know. Bugs are insects. That's right. Bugs are insects. Okay, what else did we learn in the video? Well, how do we know it's an insect? What did she say? They have three main body parts. Three main body parts. The first one is the head. That's where you find the mouth and the feelers. The next one is the thorax. That's usually where you find the legs and the wings. And what was the last one? Do you remember? That's right. The abdomen. That's the bug's tummy. All right. Do you remember anything else that she said? Hmm. Let's see here. That's right. Bugs have an exoskeleton. That's that hard shell that's around their body. We have a skeleton inside. They kind of have a skeleton on the outside. It's a hard shell. All right. What else did we learn? They have no bones. No bones. That over here. Bugs have no bones. Bones. And what's the most important way to find out if what you're looking at is a bug? Do you remember? That's right. Six legs. Six legs. If it has six legs and usually wings, you'll know that it's a bug. Okay, or an insect. Okay, I am going to read you a short story and it is called invent an insect and this story is going to lead us into our assignment okay this is called invent an insect and it's a cute story many little animals are insects chip says some fly and some don't come on says bess we'll watch some insects to see what they are like. Mitch watches insects from the bench. Chip watches insects going up a branch. Bess turns to watch a butterfly. You can watch insects where you live. If you get a chance, go outside and take a look. Insects have six legs. They have two matching antenna, and some have wings. This is antenna and his wings, and look how they labeled him. Midge, Bess, and Chip chat on the bench. Let's invent our own insect, says Midge. You can invent one too. Well, what does invent mean? Hmm. I know. It means create, something you can create. Mitch, Bess, and Chip soon sketch their insects. You can sketch one too. So they're creating their own, look at that. And they're all very different, but they have the same three things. They have a head, a thorax, and abdomen, and of course, six legs. Bess says, my insect will fly around in the air. You can catch it. It's much too fast. It's a flying champ. So let's take a look at what they're creating. And they're drawing their insects. Oh, look at this. My insect's very big, Chip says. It's as long as my body. My insect bit me, Mitch says. It bit my chin and now it itches so much. So he decided to use some blocks for his and they decided to use clay and glue 
for theirs. So when they invented their insects, they drew some, and they also decided to create some with things they had in their home. Now it's your turn to invent your own insect. So that's right, that's what we're doing this week. That is your assignment. You are going to create your own insect with whatever you have at home. If you wanna draw and label your insect and color it, that is absolutely fine. If you wanna use stuff you have at home to build an insect, that's fine too, however you wanna do it and how cr creative you wanna be. I'm going to share my screen one more time and I'm going to show you some insects so we can really think about um, the three parts that they have to really see their six legs and also to realize how absolutely colorful insects are. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Here we go. What is a bug? Well, what did we say a bug was? A bug is a insect. That's right. A bug is an insect. Let's look at all these cool insects. So I want you to take a look and look at all the colors. I see greens and I see reds and I see yellows. And of course there are some browns. Look at all the insects and they all have what? A head, a thorax and an abdomen, six legs. And now do all of them have wings? No, but some of them do. How do we know it's an insect? An insect has three main body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And of course, it has its six legs. Let's count the legs on this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And look at those feelers. His feelers or his antenna are really long. Insects live in many places, yes. Insects live in gardens, in trees, in forests, and in the desert, and yes, in your own backyard. What do insects or bugs eat? They like plants and leaves and roots and nectar and seeds and even wood, flowers, and Fruit. It's a lot of different things that insects eat. Let's look at some more insects or bugs and see what we see. Well, this guy, it looks like he has wings, but look, he looks almost gold. He's a beetle. He's got red legs. And I don't see some antenna. Well, maybe those are antenna right there. Look at the butterfly. Now we can't see his legs. We can only see the top of him, but we know his legs are at the bottom. Look how long his feelers are and he has wings. And the bee, I see his six legs and his head and his thorax and his abdomen. He also has a stinger, which you will find on his abdomen. There's the walking stick like in the video and of course a pretty, pretty ladybug. All right, so what did we learn? Let's take a good look at the picture. Which one of these is not an insect? That's right, it's the spider. A spider is an arachnid, that means it has eight legs. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I am going to put that PowerPoint on um, the Weebly website. You can take a look at it again. So today your assignment is to create your own insect. Now again, you can draw and label and color.
or you can create it for something you have at home. And I want you to remember all the colors we just saw in those insects, okay? And this is gonna be your one big assignment for the week. For extra credit, for 10 points extra credit, if you can go outside and using a jar, make sure the jar has holes in it or the top anyway, see if you can catch an insect Make sure it's not something that'll sting you. See if you can catch an insect so you can show us the three main body parts. Let's try to keep our insects safe and release them when, they, when you are done. Let's try not to hurt our insects. But if you can catch something, put it in a jar, make sure it has holes and show me. Take a short video of it and post it onto your portfolio. Okay, and same thing with your assignment. Your assignment is to create an insect and post a picture, take a snapshot of it and post a picture of it on your portfolio. Okay, that's it for me. Remember that we will not have a meeting on Thursday and this is your one big assignment with a one extra credit, okay? And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow at our meeting and that's it for me. I'm Miss G.